Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. Oliver Tambo. The anti-apartheid political party in South Africa, the African National Congress, was led by Oliver Tambo as its acting president. For the most part, Tambo served in exile. Oliver Tambo and Nelson Mandela founded South Africa's first black law firm. Exiled from South Africa, Tambo served as acting president of the African National Congress, a group whose goal was to abolish the apartheid state in his homeland. In 1990, he returned to South Africa and relinquished leadership of the African National Congress to Nelson Mandela. Early Years and Profession Born in the town of Bizana, South Africa, on October 27, 1917, Oliver Reginald Tambo is a member of the Pondo Ethnic Group. At Fort Hare University, the only university in the country open to black citizens, he received a scholarship and studied education and science. In 1941, he graduated with a bachelor's degree. With Nelson Mandela, in 1944, Tambo and Mandela, who shared a hometown with Tambo and attended the same high school in Fort Hare, helped create the African National Congress Youth League in Johannesburg. After a brief stint as a missionary school teacher, Tambo decided to pursue a career in law because he believed that legal action could be an effective means of ending state-sponsored segregation. In 1952, he and Nelson Mandela founded the first black South African law firm, Mandela and Tambo, in Johannesburg. He was a member of the Anglican Church, and he had even pondered becoming a priest. As apartheid became more entrenched, Tambo rose to the top of the ANC's political agenda, highlighting the oppression of the black populace by the white-controlled government. After being detained for treason in 1956, he and several other party members were ultimately exonerated. This was also the time when Oliver Tambo married Adelaide Shakudu, an ANC Youth League member and nurse who would go on to have three children with him. As ANC's acting president, the ANC adopted a posture of utilizing aggressive, militant measures to destroy apartheid after the Sharpeville Rally Massacre, in which dozens of citizens were killed or injured. The government banned the party and Mandela was sentenced to life in jail for his role in the uprising. Chief Albert Lutuli, the ANC's president in exile, appointed Tambo to lead the party. After Lutuli's death in 1967, Tambo took over as interim party president. While in London, England, and other European countries, including as East Germany and the Soviet Union, Tambo constructed houses and gained party support. In spite of internal organizational strife, Tambo managed to keep the multiracial ANC intact while working from overseas as a coordinator of resistance and guerrilla movements. Tambo was able to gain Western support for the struggle of the people during the 1980s when turmoil in South Africa reached anarchic heights under the PW Boda regime, including economic boycotts. Moved to South Africa and death. Tambo was known for his grace, tenderness, and affection, despite his firm commitment. After President F. W. de Klerk overturned the travel ban against the ANC he was allowed to return to his native South Africa in 1990. A year after suffering a stroke, Tambo was unable to continue serving as president of the party and was instead elected chairman. Tambo died in Johannesburg, South Africa, on April 24, 1993. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this, see you in next video.